three tips to overcome shyness. What's going on people? My name is Zulfikar and welcome to my YouTube channel which is about self-improvement and helping you overcome the conditioning and programming of the lies and the deceit of this degenerate society. If you like the sound of that, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button because there are many tips, tricks and strategies to help you become a better version of yourself. Back to today's video, which is about giving you three tips to help you overcome shyness. Now this video is a follow on from the last one, which was uh, about giving you three mindset shifts that you could make to overcome social anxiety. If you haven't watched that video, please go ahead and watch that. I will post the link up above and in the description below because you need to make those mindset shifts first that will then help you uh, with these tips that I'm about to give you now which are three practical things that you can do. So the first thing is to go to networking events alone. Now I used to hate going to any type of events, I, I used to hate going out, I used to avoid networking events like the plague uh, and then when I realised that I needed to do it and get over this fear uh, of shyness and anxiety I started going but the mistake that I made in the early days was to go with a friend. Now if you go with a friend the only thing that's going to happen is that you're going to spend the whole event time, the whole evening, the whole day, whichever time of the day you go, it's going to be spent talking with your friend. So you really do need to go alone because it's very 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 uncomfortable but it puts you in a position where you are forced to interact, you are forced to talk to people and even when people see you uh, at a networking event when you're alone they will come and talk to you so I went to local business networking events I went to further out networking events but I also went to bigger events like you know um, when Jordan Belfort came to Manchester I didn't just go to the event I signed up for the private dinner so after the event um, there was just a small group of us and we had a private dinner with Jordan Belfort the dinner was absolutely wacky it was disgusting not my type of food and the whole experience was very 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 uncomfortable. I was out of my comfort zone. I hated it. I wanted to get out of there but I did it because I knew I had to get over this fear and it made for a great photo, um, a photograph opportunity as you can see on screen right now. So tip number one is go to networking events and go alone. And I also went to the uh, London Real event. So London Real, they have a podcast. They had an event in, in, in London. So I went over and I stayed the night, which is well out of my comfort zone. And I went to this event where there were thousands of people and I was there alone. And you know, with this event, I did not in fact in, interact with a lot of people. There were only a, a very few people that I did interact with. So the majority of the, the event was spent walking around like a loner which again turned out to be a good thing because it got over this fear and this thinking of what the hell am I doing here alone I'm gonna look like a loser who cares nobody cares I did it got over it and it's helped me become confident and it's helped me get over my shyness tip number two is to start making videos and posting them on Line. Now if you've been following my journey you know I now post videos quite regularly but yesterday was my two year anniversary since the first video that I posted. Now this was a very difficult transformation like when I first started to make videos um, I would hesitate just to record it on my phone like it would take me half an hour to an hour just to pluck up the courage um, and then the first mindset shift that I really made was you know what just record it so what if it's crap I'll just delete it nobody is going to see and then the first few videos that I made I really struggled with talking with just the phone in my hand and all I was doing was talking to myself but I kept making mistakes I kept starting I kept stuttering and it took me a long time just to make videos to myself so these were not videos that I was publishing or displaying to the public 
these were videos that I was just making on my own phone and watching them back myself. I struggled with that first and then I started creating videos in a private group on Facebook and then finally I had the courage to actually post a video on social media and the rest is history. Just like uh, the first tip, this is a very, very uncomfortable process. You will not like it, you will hate it, you will want to stop, but the idea is to carry on doing it time and time again. And eventually, you're going to realize people just don't care. You will post videos, it will increase your confidence, some will support you, most will ignore you. It really doesn't matter because you are developing yourself, you're becoming more confident, you're building your self esteem, and you are getting over your shyness and social anxiety so if you haven't done it before start making a video uh, and take as long as you need whether it's just on your phone and then eventually start posting those videos online and as you can see from my journey i now have a youtube channel which almost has a hundred videos on there uh, and you know that would not have been possible if i did not take that first step and start creating videos online and you know making videos online has had a direct impact on my social skills in the real world i'm a lot more talkative i'm a lot more confident and i have a lot more energy when i am in a group surrounding whereas before all i did was hide and try to escape tip number three is to start a podcast now this is something that will really put you out of your comfort zone if you have social anxiety and you are shy because you are forced to interact on camera you are forced to have a conversation and the personal development journey is absolutely phenomenal now i have started my podcast unfortunately i didn't stay consistent with it but i am about to pick that up and i can tell you from the first episodes to the later ones even though there hasn't been that many the difference has been massive in terms of my own confidence and self-esteem and the same thing will be true for you once you start approaching guests once you start having conversations it will help you get over your shyness and get over your social anxiety and you are building relationships with high value people and you are getting eyes on you and you are building a social media following as well so the uh, benefits are many in number start a podcast the next stage of development for me will be appearing on other people's podcasts like it's quite easy being a host because you do your research you do the opening and then you ask a few questions and then it's the guest that's doing most of the talking whereas if you are the guest then you have to do most of the talking and that is the next stage of development for me so soon i am going to start approaching people to be a guest on their podcast but for you if you've never done it before just starting a podcast is a phenomenal way to get over shyness and get over social anxiety so there you have it just to recap three practical tips for you to get over shyness and social anxiety number one go to networking events alone number two start creating videos and posting them posting them online and number three start a podcast I hope you found value in this video. Let me know what you think about the content. Let me know if you do decide to put these strategies in place and give me your feedback. I'd love to know how you get along. And just let me know what struggles do you have with shyness? Like what is your main sticking point? What is your main obstacle? I will understand it because I've been there. So let me know. I can offer you advice, tips, and um, you know, just I can be helpful in helping you overcome these things please make sure you hit the subscribe button give this video a thumbs up and share it with anyone you think would benefit until the next video take care bye bye